hello guys welcome to another video of circuit digest in this video i'll show you how you can use the amazon aws iot servers to create a thing and link it to your mqtt software so now get on to the amazon aws website and register an account which might ask which will ask for a credit card or a debit card so go through the sign up process and then once it's done you will be taken to the main screen like this so if you're looking for a more step-by-step -step instruction with pictures and illustrations then you can find the link in the description of this video which you can use it if you don't want to follow through this video otherwise let's get started so this is the main website just go ahead and search for iot core and you will get this connected devices to cloud click on it and you will be taken to the main aws iot page here just click get started and so let's go ahead and create a thing for now go to onboard and then uh, click on manage and then click on things and then you'll have a register a thing option click on it now we have to just create a single thing for now now let's give a name for a thing i will name it circuit digest but you can name it whatever you want and then click on next it's recommended that you have to create a certificate so let's create a certificate and here the certificates are created what we have to do is download them so let's first activate the certificate and then click on we have to download three certificates all together one is the root ca the other is the certificate for the thing and the other is the private key first let's download the root ca click on download hello guys welcome to another video of circuit digest in this video i'll show you how you can use the amazon aws iot servers to create a thing and link it to your mqtt software so now get on to the amazon aws website and register an account which might ask which will ask for a credit card or a debit card so go through the sign up process and then once it's done you will be taken to the main screen like this so if you're looking for a more step-by-step -step instruction with pictures and illustrations then you can find the link in the description of this video which you can use it if you don't want to follow through this video otherwise let's get started so this is the main website just go ahead and search for iot core and you will get this connected devices to cloud click on it and you will be taken to the main aws iot page here just click get started and so let's go ahead and create a thing for now go to onboard and then uh, click on manage and then click on things and then you'll have a register a thing option click on it now we have to just create a single thing for now now let's give a name for a thing i will name it circuit digest but you can name it whatever you want and then click on next it's recommended that you have to create a certificate so let's create a certificate and here the certificates are created what we have to do is download them so let's first activate the certificate and then click on we have to download three certificates all together one is the root ca the other is the certificate for the thing and the other is the private key first let's download the root ca click on download and you'll have a tab you have to right click and click on save us i'll save it on my desktop for now and then you can straight away download the other two certificates so let me copy the certificates which i just downloaded cut it and then go to my desktop i have created a folder called aws iot certificate let me paste them inside there along with the certificate which just got downloaded now if you take a look you can see that the certif ca certificate which we downloaded is in the extension dot txt which should be changed to dot em that's it so now let the certificate stay here we'll need them later and let's proceed with the thing click on attach a policy we don't have any policies right now so we have to go ahead and create a policy and then attach it to the certificate for now let's register the thing now let's create a policy go to secure click on policies over here there is no policies here so let's create a policy again you have to name the policy for me i'm going to name it as circuit digest again and then for the action it's iot.star you have to use the same iot.star 
and the resources ARM is just start. Make sure you click on allow and then click on create. So now the policy is being created. We have to attach it to the certificate which was created earlier. Go back to certificates and then click on attach policy and here we have circuit digest. So click on attach and everything is done. A thing is up now. Let's go ahead and download the MQTT software whose uh, download link can be found in the description of this video. Once uh, it is downloaded, you will get an exe file like this. Just launch it and it will get installed on your computer. Just search for MQTT. Mine is already installed. So let me go ahead and launch it. Let's wait for it. Mm, right now, no. Okay, so here is the main screen. We have to create a profile. So click on the settings icon and here we go so here we have to give a profile name and the broker address and other stuff like that so for profile name you can select any name i have selected mqtt underscore sample and it's mqtt broker and for broker address you have to get back to your chrome and then click on manage and then click on circuit digest and then we have an option called interact this is your broker address make sure you don't share your broker address with anyone because with this anyone can access your thing and you will be charged if they overuse it. So copy it and paste it on your broker address and then your broker port will be 3883. Your client ID can be anything. I have named it my IOT underscore thing and then go to SSL under slash TLS. Now click on self sign certificates and we have to attach the three certificates which we downloaded earlier. All these are just rubbish values, I'll delete it. So let's attach the CA file first, which is I, which I have placed on the desktop in a folder called AWS underscore IoT and this is the CA file. So very sign class 3 is your CA file, double click on it and then client certificate is the one that ends with .pem.crt and client key file is the one that ends with private.pem.key. So select all the files and also make sure that you click on PEM formatted over here, make sure it's checked and then click on OK. So that's it. We have created a profile. Let's go ahead and try connecting to it. Click on connect and it should load up for a while and then get connected. If everything is going fine, then you should see the green dot over here. If that's done, then let's try subscribing to a name and then publishing a message and check if it's being received. So let's go to subscribe and you can use any random name. So let me use a random name called random so let me subscribe to it so it's subscribe now and we have zero messages from the name random let me go ahead and use send some message to it let I me mean publish to it let me use the same name random and then publish something to it some text information and then click on publish so if everything's good, you should see that information is being received here along with the date and time. So that's it guys. This is how you use the Amazon AWS to create a thing and link it to your MQTT.fx software where you can debug and monitor things. In our future tutorials, we will learn how we can link it with the ESP, Raspberry Pi, Arduino and the other stuff. So thanks for watching. And you'll have a tab. You have to right click and click on save us. I'll save it on my desktop for now. And then you can straight away download the other two certificates. So let me copy the certificates which I just downloaded. Cut it and then go to my desktop. I have created a folder called AWS IoT certificate. Let me paste them inside there along with the certificate which just got downloaded. Now if you take a look, you can see that the certif CA certificate which we downloaded is in the extension .txt which should be changed to .pem. That's it. So now let the certificates stay here. We'll need them later and let's proceed with the thing. Click on attach a policy. We don't have any policies right now. So we have to go ahead and create a policy and then attach it to the certificate. For now, let's register the thing. Now let's create a policy, go to secure, click on policies over here. There is no policies here. So let's create a policy. Again, you have to name the policy for me. I'm going to name it as secure digest again. 
and then for the action it's iot dot star you have to use the same iot dot star and the resources arn is just star make sure you click on allow and then click on create so now the policy is being created we have to attach it to the certificate which was created earlier go back to certificates and then click on attach policy and here we have circuit digest so click on attach and everything is done a thing is up now let's go ahead and download the mqtt software whose uh, download link can be found in the description of this video once uh, it is downloaded you will get an exe file like this just launch it and it will get installed on your computer just search for mqtt mine is already installed so let me go ahead and launch it let's wait for it Mm, right now no okay so here is the main screen we have to create a profile so click on the settings icon and here we go so here we have to give a profile name and the broker address and other stuff like that so for profile name you can select any name I have selected MQTT underscore sample and it's MQTT broker and for broker address you have to get back to your Chrome and then click on manage and then click on circuit digest and then we have an option called interact this is your broker address make sure you don't share your broker address with anyone because with this anyone can access your thing and you will be charged if they overuse it so copy it and paste it on your broker address and then your broker port will be triple eight three your client id can be anything i have named it my iot underscore thing and then go to ssl under slash tls now click on self signed certificates and we have to attach the three certificates which we downloaded earlier all these are just rubbish values i'll delete it so let's attach the ca file first which is uh, which i have placed on the desktop in a folder called aws underscore iot and this is the ca file so very sign class 3 is your ca file double click on it and then client certificate is the one that ends with dot pem dot crt and client key file is the one that ends with private.pem.key so select all the files and also make sure that you click on pem formatted over here make sure it's checked and then click on ok so that's it we have created a profile let's go ahead and try connecting to it click on connect and it should load up for a while and then get connected if everything is going fine then you should see the green dot over here if that's done then let's try subscribing to a name and then publishing a message and check if it's being received so let's go to subscribe and you can use any random name so let me use a random name called random so let me subscribe to it so it's subscribe now and we have zero messages from the name random let me go ahead and use send some message to it let me publish to it let me use the same name random and then publish something to it some text information and then click on publish so if everything's good you should see that information is being received here along with the date and time so that's it guys this is how you use the amazon aws to create a thing and link it to your mqtt.fx software where you can debug and monitor things in our future tutorials we will learn how we can link it with the esp raspberry pi or you know one other stuff so thanks for watching